Governments don't like paying for social care at the best of times, and these are not the best of times, far from it. These are times of austerity. The British government has just released a white paper detailing its policies for the months and years ahead. Robert Warwick has been taking a look, senior visiting fellow here at Cass Business School. Robert, is this all about the government trying to save money? Um, I think it's more to do with trying to address a problem that's been kicking around for um, several, you know, many years and several decades of um, allowing people proper dignity and care in older age and when they, when they come to need um, social care support. So I don't think it's all about money. But that's got to be an element of it, hasn't it? Because the government has to fund this and the government is short of cash at the moment. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, so the proposals in the Care and Support White Paper address the issues to do with um, consistency, tidying up legislation on training. The issue of funding, um, which as you say is an important element, has to some degree been left until the next spending review. Um, but ultimately it, does, it will come down to uh, money at some point in the end. But the focus here, correct me if I'm wrong, is essentially on trying to keep people in their own homes rather than having them move out into institutions. Actually, many people will say, well, if, even if that's cheaper, even if that is saving money, that's a good thing. Yeah, and I, and I, think, that, I think the white paper has um, received a lot of uh, um, good support um, because of that. So, um, yeah, that's good. So is this going to create opportunities for the private sector? I think it will address opportunities for the private sector once the um, issue of funding has been addressed. So the original Dilnock report suggests a cap of £35,000. Uh, so that's a cap on what people would have to pay before the government kicks in and helps out? Correct. Research here has indicated a more graduated response according to people, uh, people's ability to pay. But either way, once you've got clarity on that, clarity on what people need to plan for, then that enables the private sector um, to provide uh, products into that market and it also provides clarity for people to save. Any areas in which this white paper fell short, in your view? I think the issue of funding, that's the, the major issue, the, the shortfall. Um, the government has <clears throat> addressed many important issues in it, but it's the funding thing that will bring, to get, bring it together as a whole system that will enable um, substantial improvements to be made. So ultimately it comes down to who's going to pay for it? That's a very important element and it hasn't yet been addressed. Thank you very much indeed.